It is one of our feature matchups. As if you could guess who is on the way based on the music, your TWA Wrestle Rays 2. We are proud to be here in Maumelle Event Center. Deep in the heart of Arkansas, April 8th, 2017, for a matchup that has had a lot of anticipation building for it, which has intensified based on what we've seen earlier tonight. Not only the announcement of the temporary restraining order that uh, Storm and Boyd Bradford are responsible for to keep Lily away from Mr. Bradford, manager of the agents as he may be. But in addition, Riviera really took a, a risk, but a calculated risk at that. I'm able to lay Tim Storm out at the NWA World Championship, send a message and perhaps give us a visual of what's to come that could be back from the era time in WWE World Tag Team Chief. Could he get the most prestigious prize in the history of our sport? If that woman has anything to say about it, he won't, but you can see how just self-absorbed and full of himself Matt Riviera is. It just drips off of him with every step he takes, every word that comes out of his mouth. Just the way he carries himself. Can you imagine what he's going to be like if he wins the NWA World Championship? We will never, ever hear the end of it. Hey, there's this one fan that he probably slipped five bucks to. I don't know how you can support such an overbearing, obnoxious individual. That guy does too. And hey, I'm gonna say it, I've said it before, I cannot discount anything from the ability of Matt Riviera. I can't tell you word one that is a negative about Matt Riviera's technical prowess or his knowledge of the game. That's what scares me. This man winning the world's championship is a very real possibility. And it could just be a couple of heartbeats away. And if so, the NWA as we know it is going to change. CWA is going to change. But this is the man that stands between the World Championship and the clutches of Mac Riviera. Tim Storm, the veteran, has worn that championship proudly for a number of months. His uh, dominant physical presence is well known, but always takes time to appreciate those that brought him to the dance, certainly. First and foremost, that's these great fans. Storm wears that championship proudly. He represents himself and CWA and the NWA proudly. Very happy with that role, and he's happy being a company representative and a champion of the people. It's not about himself, how good he looks. It's about being a flag bearer, no pun intended, based on Riviera's entourage. A flag bearer for this great organization. I feel so bad for Lily as well, who's had to put up with Boyd Bradford to such a degree. Actually being forced to stay away from Boyd Brad is maybe the best thing that's ever happened to her now that I think about it. But she will need to have a keen eye. Because you can't trust Riviera's entourage as far as you go to see all that. But it's big fight feel in the air. James Beard already questioning Riviera, already getting in his face. It's going to be no nonsense in this championship match. There you see Bradford. 
Loudly waving that order of protection. I wouldn't be worried about Lily if I was used to. I'm worried about that uh, giant man getting in the ring. As we get about set to uh, finish our preliminaries and get set for an all-important World's Championship, you can see Storm does not want to wait. Still thinking about that assault with his Ladies own championship earlier on. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 60-minute time limit and is for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, he is the challenger. He is accompanied to the ring by the manager for the ages, Boyd Radford. He weighed in at 251.8 pounds this evening. The pride of Russ Vegas, Arkansas, lover boy, Matt Riviera. the champion. He is being accompanied to the ring tonight by Lily. He weighed in at 253 pounds from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. He is the reigning and defending current NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tim Stone. Both competitors will enter the center of the ring where official James Beard will instruct the rules. We've got all the rules in the dress room with each of you. And the instructions, I want you to remember to feed yourselves at all times. It's going to be a slow knock. And obey my commands. And I want the seconds to say, respect the floor, go on the floor. You understand what I'm saying to you? Okay? All right. It's uh, shaking hands and got a team match. Okay, let's go. Here and Storm have not taken their eyes off of one another, and Storm was trying to be the bigger man again, being the the proud and respectful champion with integrity, and extend his hand. And Riviera walks away, completely disrespecting the legacy that has been built by Storm and really so many world champions before him. When you think of the list of the most prestigious NWA World Champions, and Jack Briscoe, and Luke Fez, and Dory Funk, and Dustin Rhodes, even a guy like Sting, you think of those athletes that always carry themselves with respect, proud representatives of this company, proud representatives of everywhere they travel. Always time for the fans, always time for the charities, always time to shake a hand, kiss a baby, whatever the job title uh, may entail. A man of the people. Matt Riviera is a man all about himself. So, you know, there's been a lot of buzz on social media about this matchup as well. You can always search out CWA Wrestle Rays on Facebook or find us on Twitter as well. CWA loves to bring wrestling to town for great causes and support the local communities. And of course, though, as we mentioned, Riviera is here for himself. He could give a darn less about if uh, any cause is adhered to other than his cause to walk out with the championship. And Storm using his body as an offensive weapon. Riviera forced to break. And Riviera attempting a full Nelson a moment ago. And check that out. Who's the lover boy now, says Tim Storm. And who's getting inside whose head? Which that full Nelson was the wisest move by Riviera. And I'll tell you what, Riviera knows what Tim Storm is all about. Make no mistake about it. He's not coming in unprepared to have Kyle Neville tie up. These gentlemen known each other for nearly two decades. 18 years ago, they broke in together. They were training together. But both went very separate ways afterwards. As Storm going tit for tit with Riviera Beal out of the corner. 
Storm has carved his own path over that time frame. Riviera has studied under men like Buddy Landell, the late great Buddy Landell, Squire Dave Taylor, great, great athletes bell to bell, but sometimes not the most scrupulous. As Floyd Bradford, speaking of scruples or lack thereof, consoling Matt Riviera, who needs a breather. And Lily with some attempted words, hey, look out. Now I'm not at, uh, advocating protecting Bradford here. I don't want Lily to get arrested. The last thing Tim Storm needs is a distraction at this point in time. And if Lily gets her temper a bit out of hand and walks out of this building in handcuffs, that distraction may be enough for Riviera to capitalize on Tim Storm and oh. Riviera trying to make this even more personal. And it's Tim Storm with a tick down. Time to count along with the champion, perhaps, in the corner. No, only one. Storm keeping the challenger guessing. And a straight poop to the skull. Sometimes that works a little better. Two and no. I gotta believe after what we've seen in this contest and what Riviera has perpetrated already earlier tonight. And it'll be such a sweet feeling of Storm can pin Riviera's shoulders to the mat. Riviera for the right elbow gets right in the face of Tim Storm. And, oh, went high risk, but Storm caught Riviera right in the midsection. Neck breaker to follow up the combo. Storm coming from all sides and gets two. That's what uh, makes Tim Storm so dangerous, is that even though he's a large man, he can still catch you off guard, switch directions midstream. Now maybe we'll count along. Riviera completely out on his feet. More? So if you're keeping track at home, that is now 21 punches to the face Riviera has taken in this matchup thanks to the 10 Storm Corner Mounts. And a few mathematicians Count along. Another dosage of 10, 31 the running total. Riviera, brains too scrambled to count anywhere near 31. And we can't leave the fourth corner out now, can we? You want to talk about, oh, this guy, this guy's completely out of it. Rubbery leg, the clothesline, down you go. You talk about retribution, you talk about getting what you deserve. You know, Storm rejoiced. Every single right hand he could fire away on Riviera. Brain must be throbbing at this point. He's got no clue where he is. Riviera's got to uh, figure out and remember what he's what he's doing here. Tim Storm not giving him the opportunity. Tim Storm got to oh give the uh, the front row fans an even closer viewpoint of the action. Now right in front of that woman that Riviera disrespected in his during his entrance. Let her get a shot in. Way into the guard, no reversal, champion, it's hard. Small, the back, base of the spine. And Tim Storm is just, well, almost momentarily paralyzed, just couldn't move at all. As that pain shot up his back. 
And Riviera, he is cunning, he is resourceful. He is using his surroundings to his advantage. Has he been able to uh, shake those cobwebs enough to proceed here? Storm tried to block that shot into the steel ring stairs, but the momentum was such that it certainly still had its impact and its effect. No matter what party you hit solid steel, it's gonna hurt, and Riviera knows that. can't discount the striking game of Riviera either. Oh, and it comes back to haunt him that time. Riviera may have broken his own hand. People voicing their editorials about it as Tim Storm has found a weakness yeah, first into the, the ring frame, then into the solid seal stairs. And that's gonna severely affect Riviera's striking game. Imagine just how many ordinary techniques and ordinary functions you, you use with your right hand daily when it comes to, to writing or turning a doorknob or just simple tasks like that. Now imagine not being able to use it in combat, but you got Boyd Bradford creating problems. Come on. And again, Lily can't touch him, or she may go to jail. Temporary order of protection. We know what it really is. It's a license to turn this into a glorified handicap match. Set for the ride, elbow connects. Could this be all? No. And again, the danger of the phrase Matt Riviera and WA World's Champion are some of those Dave Taylor uppercuts. Riviera always running his mouth, but something he said woke up Tim Storm. But only for a moment. Back and forth, jockeying for leverage in that corner. Oh, the killer con knee, but nobody there. Too much showboat, too much shimmying and shaking. And now Tim Storm getting us back to good old fashioned wrestling. Figure four leg lock. Time-tested maneuver, putting pressure on seven different parts of the lower human anatomy, and Riviera, if his shoulders stay down for three seconds, that's also a legal pinning combination. Riviera bridging himself up a couple of times. Maybe the submission move has been most synonymous with the NWA World's title over the years. It's down to to the, the, the flare figure four and the funk spinning toll in the eyes of many, Riviera is able to reverse the pressure. Floyd Bradford in a distraction. That, that damn flag bearer just tossed what looks like a piece of steel wrapped in tape, some kind of nuts of some sort. Oh! Tim Storm's eyes rolled in the back of his head instantaneously. He was out before he hit the ground. Riviera's going to steal the world title. No! Tim Storm survives and thank God. What a travesty. What how disgusting it would have been for the championship to change hands on such circumstances. But the damage has been done and it may, maybe our fights two one more time, it may only be a matter of time. Riviera zoning in on the left arm of Tim Storm, trying to uh, create as much of a weakness as he can. Storm is running on a lot of instincts here mentally. 
Grivier can, can knock out a wing here, knock out a limb. Could open up Storm to uh, so much more potential offense from Riviera, but now Storm fighting his way free. Breaks the grip, quickens the pace. Riviera there with a knee. Riviera just a half step ahead of the defending champion right now. And now a little Fargo strut. A bit of a premature celebration and now making eyes at Lily, who is looking on very concerned and impatient when it comes to Tim Storm, who's had to withstand so much to count over. Here's a short jabs. And over here, the striking game, he's outsized here. I don't know that he's been uh, outclassed in a striking game. There's a big elbow, point of the elbow down to Storm, but not quite enough. So we are back to that arm. Putting consistent pressure and keeping Storm beneath him. Storm is not just carrying his own body weight, but carrying Riviera's as well as you see Riviera hovering over top of Storm. Notice the wide vertical base of Riviera. This allows him to plant his feet more firmly and increase his own balance. It's gonna be harder for Storm to push Riviera off or away when Riviera has that kind of a center of balance. Notice in the background, Lily, again, just having a heated word or two with Floyd Bradford. He deserves every word of it, I'll tell you that. Storm to his feet, by the way. Storm has been able to daze Riviera again. On the knee a second time, Storm a step ahead, could have him, no. And Storm went for uh, a lucky uh, momentary burst of ball pitch there, but Riviera turning things back around now, Storm to the outside of the heat. And right in front of Boyd Bradford, get out of here. Lily over there, and if I was Bradford, I'd run too. I have never I've seen Lily with it. That kind of a look on her face before. You could tell she is just absolutely furious about this whole ordeal. And the, the, the problem is there's really nothing she can do about it. She can't violate the order of protection. She can't come after Riviera. It's the world's title match. Riviera is sick of, uh, sick of waiting for Storm to get back into battle. Perhaps Riviera could sense Strikes with the chest cavity. Cover for two. Surprised to see Riviera not hook a leg there. Surprised to see Riviera not have as much body on body contact there as he maybe could have. Nice side suplex. That's not an easy amount of mass to get up. The strap is down for Riviera. Could this be a sign of uh, impending doom for the incumbent champion? Riviera from the second turbuckle. And there's another attempt at a Killer Khan style knee that did not pay off. Nobody there, but does Tim Storm have the time that he needs to recover here? Bradford says no. The fans seem to think otherwise. That could be a knockout shot here. Close line, back elbow. Those tree limb branches of Storm coming into play, and the big boot connects flush with Riviera. Storm has a bit of sustained momentum here. For the first time in several minutes, we'll see if he can keep it up. Riviera to the corner. Storm charging him with all his body weight. Now to the far side. Once more. They, oh, come on! Talk about desperation. An NWA legend. And Riviera uses him 
as a human shield, and Bradford's in there with that championship. The NWO's title, and there's Lily. Oh, Lily's had enough. Tug of war for the championship, and Bradford, there's no order of protection against uh, Tim Storm, I don't believe. Oh, are you insane? Do you have a death wish? Bradford just struck. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Storm. Oh, Storm was aiming for Bradford. Oh, that is, that is such an unfortunate series of events. And Riviera with a chair. This, this world title match is... Oh, God! And again... Rivier was able to create a distraction with Lily still the title now. And now Storm is his brains are scrambled. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with you, Riviera? Storm's brains are scrambled. He accidentally knocked out to uh, uh, Lily, and now now he's it's, it's two on one in the ring. All these issues are mounting. Oh, Bradford went for Storm, but came up empty and hit Riviera. Lily's back in the ring. Thank God she's okay. Bradford doesn't see it now. Oh, yes, dear. And Lily made sure it was worth it. And she's got the order of protection in her hands. Rip that thing up. Storm. Oh, wait a second. That's Riviera's one night stand! And Tim Storm retains the championship! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, and still, NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tim Storm! What a World Championship matchup, Riviera! Thought it was his destiny, his legacy to come. But Tim Storm, with a timely assist by Lily to keep the uh, the playing field even, retains the title.